Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn completely about uh, Java collection framework, collection framework, and and the manual implementation of data structures and algorithms. Implementation of data structures and algorithms see first of all why collection framework is very important concept in java the thing is what a collection framework collection framework means it's a predefined implementation predefined implementation of all the algorithms data structures and algorithms java library Java API is providing implementations to all the data structure and algorithms. Algorithms. See here why data structures are very important means what? For every application, storing and processing the data is very very important. Data processing, nothing but storing the data accessing the data, updating the data, processing the data, sending the data. The main aim, the main task of every application is the data processing only. See, whenever we are storing the data, if you structure the data, if we structure the data while storing, if we structure the data, while storing we can access we can access more effectively later if you want to access or if you want to modify nothing but if you want to update easily see here is actually to modify the data or to process the data first of all storage is important to store the data in a structured form data structures and algorithms proposed algorithms proposed by different mathematicians to structure the data to structure the data these are called data structures and algorithms number of algorithms were proposed suppose if it is other language like a c or c++ and these language these algorithms we have to implement manually in C and in C++ need to implement implement these algorithms these algorithms manually need to implement these algorithms manually but Java API nothing but Java library is providing predefined implementations predefined implementation so here we can easily structure the data in java application but in this video tutorial we are going to learn about predefined implementations nothing but how to structure the data using predefined implementations as well as how to implement with user defined logic how to implement with a user defined logic see here Sir, can we give uh, some of the examples of uh, data structures means what? Here, data structures, data structures means what we are going to learn is a linear data structures. A basic linear data structure is an array. The next one, stack implementation, queue implementation, linked list implementation, linked list. And next one is a non-linear, non-linear data structures, non-linear data structures like a trees, graphs, like dictionaries, maps and all comes under 
non-linear data structures. And here it is what are the algorithms? What are the algorithms means what? Searching algorithms. Searching algorithms like a linear search, linear search, binary search, binary search, right? And here it is a hash search, some searching algorithms. And next one, here we are going to learn sorting algorithms also sorting techniques different sorting techniques are there from the very basic like bubble sort insertion sort bubble sort insertion sort selection sort selection sort and many sorting techniques are there we'll see and finally at the end what is the time complexity and how can we understand the time complexity what is the space complexity how to understand the space complexity. See, all these things we are going to learn in this video tutorial. First of all, I will explain what all the classes and what are the predefined implementations provided by Java collection framework, nothing but in a Java library. And second one, how can we implement all these algorithms using the predefined functionality of Java library. Second one is a, how can we implement manually, how can we implement manually all these algorithms, sorting techniques, searching techniques, linear data structures, non-linear data structures, time complexity, space complexity, all these things we are going to discuss, right. So, this is the introduction part of a this Java collection framework and data structures in Java. Right here it is just follow this video tutorial and you will be perfect in collections framework and implementation, manual implementation. So, all the interview questions, all the technical questions, technical implementations, logics, everything we are going to discuss in this video tutorial. Hope you understood. Thank you.